Hello, welcome to PlayStation Access and another slightly more special welcome to our look at the 20 games you absolutely must play on PS4 in 2019 and beyond. And what a year it's shaping up to be with the return of old favourites, the blazing debut of what are sure to be future classics and really definitely this time Kingdom Hearts 3. That's a stone cold promise, okay? But first up, Leon Kennedy and Claire Redfield are back in Resident Evil 2, a from the ground up PS4 remake of the PS1 original that you'd have to say is one of the greatest survivor horror titles of all time, if not the greatest. Seeing all those iconic locations you had recurring nightmares about in 1998, fleshed out in glorious 2019 o vision, is a nostalgic thrill surpassed only by the spikes of terror when you realise the zombies are back too and the liquors of course. The multi-generational leap has also seen a switch in camera angle. We're over Leon and Claire's shoulder now, Resi 4 style, as opposed to inching towards the edge of static screens, wondering what on earth that shuffling sound is. Don't worry though, it's still as terrifying as ever. The perfect mix of compelling story, thick atmosphere and making sure every single bullet counts. Resident Evil 2 is out on PS4 on January the 25th. We cannot wait. It's difficult to describe dreams, the next difficult thing to describe, being made by Media Molecule, the creative superheroes behind Little Big Planet. But creativity is a good place to start. Like LBP, Dreams focuses on the idea of play, create, share. Yes, there is a story mode, a single player experience, leading you through the basics of everything Dreams has to offer. But mostly it's about putting some seriously powerful development and creative tools in the hands of players and letting them make things, games, music, stories, animations, characters, gameplay logic, short films, visual novels, or a dreamlike combination of all of these and more. Other players can sift and sort through each other's creations to collaborate and incorporate, so as the community grows, the available material will cascade, leading to who knows where. Okay, we know, Kingdom Hearts 3 was literally in last year's video too, but the wait is absolutely definitely over now. In fact, if you're watching this after Kingdom Hearts 3's worldwide release date of January the 29th, then hello to you in a post Kingdom Hearts 3 future. What's it like over there? Because after years of anticipation, the third mainline entry in Square Enix and Disney's epic RPG crossover is here. Here. And if you've never played Kingdom Hearts before and are a bit worried about not being up to speed with the story, then don't worry. I've been playing Kingdom Hearts since 2002 and not even I know what's going on. Basically, it looks incredible. You journey through worlds from all across the Disneyverse, from Frozen and Toy Story to Big Hero 6 and Pirates of the Caribbean, and there are loads of Final Fantasy characters in it. Get on board and enjoy the ride. I know I will. Anthem is what the team behind the original Mass Effect trilogy did next. A science fiction shared world shooter that mixes Bioware's history of RPG excellence with a vast new setting and mouth-watering first-person shooter gameplay. That setting is the key to Anthem's story, a cruel, violent world abandoned by the Shaper gods in which humans were left to barely survive. Until the invention of the Javelin, your fully customizable battle armor which provides the game with its class-based mechanics and you with what are essentially superpowers. Throw in co-op play with groups of up to four, the promise of a single player story, both of which lead to exploring ancient ruins and battling terrible enemies and there's a big fat cross in our calendar in February. Pre-orders also grant access to a VIP demo at the end of January. Concrete Genie is next up, a uniquely beautiful PS4 exclusive set in a town called Denska, an urban sprawl choked with pollution and mostly abandoned. You play Ash, a young artist scrabbling through Denska in search of lost pages from his sketchbook, all while avoiding some rather nasty bullies. But there's a splash of magic in Concrete Genie, in the form of a paintbrush that brings Ash's art to 
life. And even more amazing than that is the fact you get to do the painting yourself using the DualShock 4's motion controls. You can even imbue your creations with unique abilities. Painting them red enables them to breathe fire, for example. There really is nothing else quite like Concrete Genie on PS4. Get excited. There aren't many details about Mortal Kombat 11 just yet. The latest instalment of the Hall of Fame fighting series is currently due in April. We'll feature a new cinematic story, and fair enough, this trailer does look cinematic, as well as the custom character variation system, a way for players to personalise roster fighters with different looks and moves. Otherwise, we know what you know. The Mortal Kombat is 25 years old, leaning into its legacy to provide another uncompromisingly brutal battle full of surprisingly creative ways of finishing off your enemy. Devil May Cry 5 is a game we've been massively excited for ever since we had our first hands-on last year and were one of only a handful of people to boot the demo boss on the first go. Firstly, because it sees the return of Nero and original silver-haired, now looking a bit like Daryl from The Walking Dead, Dante, but mostly because it's more Devil May Cry and that only ever means sublime combat, gorgeous visuals and titanic boss fights against demons you can't wait to slam in the dirt. It's the combo system that gets us every time as you slice, juggle, grapple and fire your way through waves of hellspawn, the dangling carrot of that end of mission S rank luring you back for just one more go. It's so polished, so slick, so cool. Devil May Cry 5 is out on the 8th of March so get that sword arm revved up and ready to go. There's loads coming up for PlayStation VR that we're excited about, so much so that we'll have a separate video dedicated to it early in the new year, but we couldn't wait that long to talk about Blood and Truth. This London gangland thriller has you playing as Special Forces soldier Ryan Marks, tearing a hole through the capital's underworld, collectively and individually, while on a mission to rescue his family. It's heavy on cover shooting, using VR's immersion to pull you from gritty council terraces to glamorous night spots, the one constant being you have guns to shoot and bad people to shoot them with, using the game's unexpectedly sophisticated, just real enough so that reloading is still fun, gunplay mechanics. Our next entry, Death Stranding, is the new PS4 exclusive from the brilliant mind of Metal Gear creator Hideo Kojima and looks every bit as enigmatic, haunting and beautiful as we'd expect from a world-renowned developer flexing his creative muscles with newfound freedom. We don't know an exact release date for Death Stranding yet, but we do know you play as Sam Porter Bridges, a courier who delivers boxes and bodies across landscapes of breathtaking beauty and bleakness. Also, you're being hunted by terrifying invisible shadow creatures and occasionally you've got a baby in a flotation tank strapped to your chest. Why? We don't know, and to be honest, neither do we care. If Death Stranding was simply walking across fields in the rain listening to sad music for 20 hours, we'd still be excited. But the fact it's so much more, that it has an all-star cast including Norman Reedus, Lea Seydoux, Mads Mikkelsen and Lindsay Wagner, just has us buzzing with anticipation. I still can't watch that bit with the toenail though. No Norman, oh no. Sekiro Shadows Die Twice, it's like Dark Souls. Well, it is and it isn't. This is the next game being made by From Software, the studio behind the Soul series and Bloodborne, and it's being directed by Hidetaka Maezaki. But there are important differences too. From Software has leaned into the Japanese setting, ditching the European Dark Ages and Gothic looks which have inspired its previous games, and focusing on the non-customizable character of a one-armed ninja bodyguard. This changes everything from combat, strategic swordplay and careful posture management, reinvent moment to moment boss battle gameplay, to movement which has a grace and freedom, check out the grappling hook that Souls never had. The world is still riddled with shortcuts and rest points so the structure will feel familiar and the deep environmental approach to storytelling remains the same. In other words, Sekiro should feel like a mixture of something brilliant that we already love with sharp new ingredients to keep it fresh. It's currently set for a March release. 
In the latest instalment of Here's Your Childhood But Better, 2019 sees the release of Medieval, a full PS4 remake of the 1998 hack and slash classic starring everyone's favourite undead knight, Sir Daniel Fortescue. Much like with the Insane and Reignited trilogies for Crash and Spyro respectively, seeing Medieval lit up in 4K and looking stunning on PS4 is like putting your face under a waterfall of liquid nostalgia. Already memories of level layouts and enemies we dread are zipping back, along with the stomach-churning embarrassment of thinking Medieval was actually spelt with an I for about 10 years before having our minds blown by the fact the title is actually a very clever pun. Welcome back, Sir Dan. You've been missed. Just when it looked like there were no fresh takes on fighting the undead left available to mankind, Days Gone shows up and says, hey, what about this one? And it turns out that this one is an open world biker themed post apocalypse set in the beautiful Pacific Northwest. Honestly, beautiful. This game would still make the list if it was a camping simulator, featuring swarming horde like stampedes of freakers and glimpses of a wildlife, not just a civilization corrupted by whatever malign pandemic has made things go bad. The Gears and Grease style extends to a customizable, maintenance hungry bike, your growling metallic mount, and an in depth scavenging and crafting system, giving hero Deacon St. John plenty of options to go stealthy, go loud, or go even louder when taking on swarms of freakers or less scrupulous fellow survivors. Days Gone is a PS4 exclusive which we'll definitely be showing you more of before it arrives in April. August the 27th, 2019 is a date you need to note down in your diary because it sees the release of Shenmue 3, the kick-started continuation of a cult classic series that follows the story of Ryo Hazuki and his journey to avenge his father's death. Set in China in 1987, Shenmue 3 will have you visiting beautiful new areas and meeting all new characters, although you can have telephone catch-ups with your favourites from previous instalments. You'll notice we avoided describing Shenmue 3 as the closing chapter in the saga, because creator Yu Suzuki is hoping to make more. We cannot wait, even though we're going to have to. Some ends of the world have a tendency to be a bit grey or brown or sad, so it's good to see that Rage 2 is really making the effort. The sequel to id Software's open world and asteroid has really messed things up shooter looks like a nuclear explosion in a rhubarb and custard factory, this is a good thing, and looks to build on the solid original with an emphasis on chaotic, physics heavy power fantasy action. To that end, Avalanche is collaborating with id on the game, having impressed with the emergent murder circus of Just Cause 3, and of course it couldn't hurt that the studio also made 2015's Mad Max with Rage's vehicular post-civilization setting owing much to the world of the Road Warrior. Speaking of Mad Max, sort of, your character in Rage 2 is a customizable Ranger Walker. Surely a nod to Mad Max 3's Captain Walker, itself a reference to the brilliant novel Ridley Walker, which you should read. Yes, you. Preferably before Rage 2 arrives in May. If you were within 10 miles of me when I first heard about Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled, then may I offer your eardrums the sincerest of apologies. I am ludicrously excited about this, a full-on PS4 remake of Crash Team Racing following the success of the Insane trilogy. This game is basically my childhood turbocharged. Seeing my favourite tracks looking as good as this is unbelievably exciting, and I've already started an intensive training programme of time trials on the original CTR, so that I'll be at the peak of my powers when Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled hits PS4 on June the 21st. Basically because there's going to be online multiplayer now, and if I don't win every race I'm going to be very sad. See you on the track in June, and prepare to choke on my exhaust fumes. Helping to fill out a frankly ridiculous lineup of upcoming PS4 exclusives is the latest from Sly Cooper and infamous creator Sucker Punch, a team with a big creative heritage but, here, a completely new direction. Ghost of Tsushima is a gorgeous cinematic revenge story set in a carefully recreated 13th century Japan, with hero samurai Jin Sakai learning a new ghost fighting style to make amends for the massacre of his people. 
What has us particularly excited is the elegance of the environment. Ghost of Tsushima is an open world in which Sucker Punch wants people to realise a fantasy of becoming a samurai, and that world is filled with bowing trees, whispering windswept grass and falling leaves, with our hero moving through them all with a deadly sense of purpose. Winging its way onto PS4 on January the 18th is Ace Combat 7 Skies Unknown, the I can't quite believe how good it looks continuation of everyone's favourite dogfighting series. The story sees you soaring through epic aerial battles in a fictional future war, but what has us particularly excited is the inclusion of local multiplayer and, here's the kicker, exclusive missions for PlayStation VR. If ever a game was crying out to be experienced in virtual reality, it's Ace Combat 7. We've tried it, and yes, it's as fast and electrifying as you'd expect. All the thrill of piloting a fighter plane that rips through the sky faster than sense, with, crucially, none of the actual danger. Observation is one of the smaller games on the list, but we're making up for that by being extra excited about it. Imagine a stylish, thinky sci-fi experience developed by the team behind episodic PC horror stories untold, who were also involved in the design of the fantastic Alien Isolation. And you have this, a wonderfully analog Earth orbit disaster in which a chunky, modular space station has been thrown into turmoil by a mysterious mishap. And you'll help the mission lead, Dr. Emma Fisher, to figure out what happened. The crucial part being that you'll be doing so as the ship's AI, Sam a nod to and reversal of the famous misfiring computer HAL in 2001 A Space Odyssey. Control is a new third-person action thriller from Remedy Entertainment, and it looks weird, which is excellent. The setup is that your Jesse Faden, burdened with mysterious childhood trauma, now working at Manhattan's Federal Bureau of Control, a government department dedicated to investigating and harnessing the power of the supernatural. Things go wrong, of course, and what we love is the originality and stark strangeness of how this plays out, in everything from Jesse's reformulating pistol to the eeriness of figures hanging dormant in mid-air. Most of the game takes place in the Bureau itself, at its headquarters known as, very cool name, the Oldest House, a brutalist shell warped within by the forces it's trying to contain. Put this style and story together with what we know about Remedy and third-person action, and we will see you at the oldest house next year. Do you really need any introduction to The Last of Us Part 2? The sequel to Naughty Dog's searing masterpiece is pushing PS4 further than it's ever gone before, and while we don't have a definite release date, what we do have is animation better than anything we've seen in the medium, nuanced acting performances that rival anything you'll see in the cinema, and gameplay that looks even more tense, tight and brutal than before. Ellie has grown up since we last saw her, morphing from willful, vulnerable teenager into battle-hardened survivor, a character balancing the churning emotional turmoil of her own humanity with the cruel necessities of a violent, post-apocalyptic world. The Last of Us Part 2 is going to be something very special indeed, and we simply cannot wait to play it. So there you have it, 20 essential PS4 games you absolutely have to play in 2019, plus a book I mentioned for some reason. Let us know which of these you're most excited for in the comments, or if there are any you think we've missed, leave a like. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, so you don't miss anything from the world of PlayStation. For the players.